guys, it's Rusty, and I'm um, going to do my January pickups video. Uh, we're running out of time here in January, and uh, so I figured today I had some extra time, and I'm going to go ahead and do my pickups for the month. Not a lot here. Um, you know, right after Christmas, I already had so many games, as you guys saw from my Christmas videos. There really wasn't much in the uh, month of January that piqued my interest. Um, there are a few things that I haven't got a chance to uh, purchase. Um, that came out in January, like Kingdom Hearts Recoded and Dead Space 2, but I'm sure I'll get those sometime down the road. But I'll show you guys here what I did get. The first thing here, I did an unboxing for this, and that's the Game & Watch collection for the Nintendo DS. Um, this is the first one. It was 800 Nintendo Club points. Um, I'm going to keep this sealed. I don't have any intention of playing this, um, just for collection purposes and collector purposes. Um, no intention of opening the next game here I have not got a chance to play. But that is a uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. I got this for a buck ninety nine um, at Plane Trade, but they had seventy five percent off um, sale on all PlayStation Two games, and I also had like a five dollar gift card, so I ended up not paying anything for this, which is really cool. And uh, it's complete black label copy. I'm really excited to get into this. I know um, Sharon Tiger Fiction is a huge fan of the Metal Gear games. And um, this one has gotten so much recognition as being, like, one of the greatest PlayStation 2 games. I don't really know much about it, but um, apparently it's fantastic, so I'm interested in getting into that. The next game I got, just for collection purposes, um, I recently, or not recently, but when I beat it, um, I traded it in. There goes my cell phone. Yeah. Ma, sorry about that. Um, I just repurchased it for collection purposes because it is an incredible game. One of my favorite first-person shooters of this generation, and that's Bioshock. And I was so happy to uh, find this in my plane trade because it had this um, the foil cover here, really nice and shiny, and it's in mint condition. Um, there's no wears or tears on the uh, slip cover there, which is really nice. And the um, case itself is in immaculate condition as well. So I was really happy about that. Bioshock is you know, a really, really just great game. Um, should be experienced by, you know, all gamers here that are watching this video. Um, just incredible environments. Um, just going into Rapture really sets the mood and the opening sequence. And um, there's just a great mix of um, first-person shooter elements as well as puzzle elements. You have to hack, um, like, doors and cameras and stuff. Um, and it also makes great use of, like, these magical power things that you use with your hands, called, like, plasmids or whatever they're called. Um, haven't had a chance to get the second one yet, but to have the first one again, really great. Already beat it, but to have it in my collection is nice. The next game here, I can't even tell you guys how happy I am to finally own this, and that is Kingdom Hearts 2. I haven't started playing it yet, um, but I am dying to start. I'm trying to play my way through Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. I'm on the last boss, um, so once I beat that, I'm going to get right into this. Um, I've beaten the first one twice. I'm working on my second, or my third time through it. Um, so it's kind of pathetic that I've waited this long to play the second game. But Kingdom Hearts, as some of you guys may know, is my favorite game of all time. Not just my favorite RPG or my favorite game on the PlayStation 2. It's my favorite game of all time. So, um, you know, maybe the second one will, you know, take that place. Um, not... Sure, you guys let me know what your thoughts are on the second one compared to the first one, numero uno. Alrighty, so, next here, this is the final game that I purchased in January. Purchased this with a gift card that I got for Christmas, and that is Goldeneye for the Nintendo Wii. I was anticipating this game for so long, and I didn't buy it at launch, which was kind of surprising. Um, I figured I was going to do that, but I did not. Um, I waited, and I waited, and I ended up getting it for, like, zero dollars, because... I used a gift card, like I just said. I'm um, happy to say that I'm really enjoying it so far. The campaign, uh, you know, the, the first level really sets the mood and brings you back to the original days on the N64, and uh, that, you know, meant a lot to me that the creators of the game kind of stayed true to the original. Um, you know, you're set in the dam. Uh, while the character, the main character did change, it's obviously Daniel Craig instead of Pierce Brosnan. That's really not much importance to me. I mean, um, like... As far as um, the, you know, the overall story and the way the level um, plays out, it's pretty similar There's, with minor differences. And it's just so over the top. And the controls work really well if you have a GameCube controller. 
um, or a classic controller. Um, that's all I've been playing with. I haven't used or tried the uh, Wiimote just because first-person shooters and Wiimotes just do not mix very well for me. But, um, you know, the level was really cool. It was very well done. Um, you know, the graphics are obviously enhanced, um, so they're better than the N64, but obviously not on par with, like, the 360 or anything. But um, the graphics are well done. Uh, the gameplay is, you know, very smooth. Um, a ton of action, you know, there's a ton of guys on screen at one time, um, you know, it, it, there's a nice challenge to the game, it's not too easy, not too difficult, so I'm really enjoying it, I couldn't really ask much more for the campaign, and, uh, the multiplayer is very fun too, I haven't played the online multiplayer, but, um, split screen, I played with my friends for a while, and I really enjoyed it, um, the only problem with the game, or the main problem with the game that I had, is it's too dark in some instances. Like, I just felt like sometimes I couldn't even see where I was going. I don't know if it was just the glare on my TV or what, but I just, you know, maybe you guys are having some of the same difficulties, but I felt like the, um, it was just too dark in some parts of the game. And, um, another thing is on split-screen multiplayer, um, the facility is just so different. I don't know. I mean, I guess that's kind of expected since, you know, it's been, like, what, ten years since the... N64 iteration of the game, but, um, this version, it's just, I don't know, I feel like it's too enhanced. They, they mess with some of the levels too much to the point where it's kind of, um, breaks that feeling of nostalgia for me, um, which kind of is why I would have to rate this game a little bit lower than the N64 version, just because, um, it doesn't completely stay true to the original, um, as far as some of the level designs. I mean, I understand that, uh, the graphics and everything, and some of the things needed um, redone and redesigned, but they didn't completely stay true to some of the levels, and uh, specifically the facility, which really kind of was irritating for me, because that was the coolest level ever. I remember just going in the bathroom and just oh, throwing proximity mines all over the freaking place so that no one could come in, and uh, you can't really do that in this level, because I don't even know if there is a bathroom in the co-op level. I mean, in the dam, you do drop down from the, um, the bathroom and, and stuff, but I don't know. It's just different. It's not the same, which sucks. But it's still very fun, very enjoyable. I have yet to play the online. You guys can let me know, um, how that is. If you have played it, I have not yet. So, um, let me know what you guys think. The final thing here, I did also did an unboxing. It's actually a peripheral, not a game. And that is the N NES Advantage. Um, Don Don Raiden sent this to me, um, so thank you, Cody. I really do appreciate it. It works perfectly. Um, the box is, you know, not in the best shape, but the controller itself is in immaculate condition. He also sent me two manuals for the NES, um, Monopoly and one other one. I'm not sure. So I'm going to try and scout out those NES games at some point. But that's all I got, guys, for January. Not a lot, I know. Um, you know, I was kind of low on cash. This month, I uh, didn't have a lot of hours due to a lot of school, and um, so that's all I got, you know. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys got recently, what you're anticipating in the upcoming months. I know there are quite a few games coming out in February. One that really sticks out for me is Marvel vs. Capcom 3. The, um, it's coming out February 15th. Um, I already pre-ordered the limited edition from the Capcom store and that'll be delivered to me hopefully not too many days after launch. And I got free shipping on that, as well as a t-shirt. So I'm so psyched for that. That's going to be just an incredible game. So I'm going to stop rambling. I've already taken enough of you guys' time. Let me know what you guys have picked up recently, what you guys are anticipating, and uh, let me know what your thoughts on Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, I'm really interested in getting into that. cannot wait. So thanks for watching, everyone. Um, again, thank you for the support. I just cannot believe how many subscribers I've gotten recently. Um, ever since my Christmas videos, um, things have just been crazy. Um, a lot of subs, a lot of video views and channel views. It's really great. Always appreciate your guys' support and your feedback. So, until next time, guys, I will see you later, and thanks for watching.